Hello everyone and welcome to another vectoring tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to design a logo based off of a sketch using the path builder tool. So let's get right to it. First, I'm going to go ahead and import the sketch. Go to the menu, import, find my sketch. And then once it's imported, I'm going to zoom out here. I'm going to scale it down to the size of the canvas. And if you're following along, you might see all of the handles like so. Um, in order to get the one handle, just tap on the top right handle here. Just tap on it once and it'll put you in this mode here. Okay. So once I have it like that, I'm going to center it to the, to the middle of the canvas using the align buttons here, which can also be found in the align panel. And then I'm going to go into my layers. I'm going to tap on the properties. I'm going to bring the opacity down just a little bit. And I'm going to lock that layer. I'm going to lock that image. So it can be adjusted while we do our tracing. So now that we're here, let's go ahead and select the circle tool. And using the shift key or the constraint button, we're going to make a perfect circle. Go back to the selection tool. And I'm going to make this circle about this size here. I'm going to put it right there. It doesn't need to be exactly perfect, perfectly aligned with all of the edges, just as long as it can be, it can work with the other circles that you put down. So you notice this, this is a little off right here, but it is perfect right here. The drawings aren't always going to be perfect, but I will be able to have it meet the circles that I put down over here. So I'm going to duplicate this circle. I'm going to bring it over here because now I want to get this shape. I want to get this curve here and increase it a little bit. About right there. Okay. Now we're going to do this bend here. I'm going to duplicate the circle again. Let's bring it down here. Now, when it comes to this, this isn't going to snap into place right here. But you just want it to be fairly touching. And you know what? Now that we're here, let's select these, open up these stroke properties, and turn off scaling strokes. Now the strokes won't scale, and we can see just how close it is no matter how, how much we zoom. So now that we're here, I can bring it closer to touching. Okay. And Path Builder will pick that up. So let's duplicate this circle. I'm going to move the head now. Okay, now for the beak, we're going to do, want to do another circle right here, this portion. And then we're going to use some lines.
Again, this doesn't have to be 100% perfect as long as you're getting the general shape. And using these techniques, you'll be able to trace over any logo you draw on paper, right? Even if it isn't perfect, as you can see, this, this isn't perfect. I'm not a good artist, but you can bring something like this in to Vector Ink and make it geometrically precise. And you'll be surprised by how good the results are in the end. I'm going to bring this over a little bit and increase the size of this circle. All right, so that's going to give me my beak. So I have this shape. It's going to curve, bend down here, curve up here, bend down here, and then bring me into beak region. So let's go ahead and knock this out. Now it does look like the beak is curved a little bit. So we might want to use a circle. Let's see how the line works out. Yeah, you see how it's curved. I'll curve it with a circle right in here. Sometimes it's a good idea to do all this in pieces and not all at once. But I'm going to attempt to do it all at once in this tutorial. Duplicate this circle, and I'm going to use this one for this here. Make sure it's lined up. And voila. Now, let's do the belly area. This one's going to be really big. And then I'll line this one up here. So it, it that looks like it's going to work. I think I can bring this one down just a little bit to meet that one. That's going to work. It looks like it's going to work. I think we got it. Let's knock this. Let's let's go ahead and build this path out real quick, and then we can knock out this little piece. So I'm going to highlight everything that I have. Hit the path builder tool, and I'm going to turn on join mode. We're just going to draw it out with join mode. So I'm going to select here, 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 down. Hit this bend beak, the beak, get this bend, this bend, this path, oh. let's get that one, uh oh, these aren't, these aren't latching on, I might have to adjust, might have to make some adjustments, but let's see how it comes out, sometimes that happens, sometimes that happens, let's get there, and there, ah, it grabbed it. Okay, it joined it. See, it left a little sliver because it found, it found its 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 neighbor. So that looks good. Let's get out of there. Boom. I like it. Now let's get this piece here, which should be a oh, way easier. So I'm using shift to constrain it proportionally. And let's bring that down to about that size. I'm going to duplicate it and bring that 
Well, that looks like it's maybe it could be bigger. Yeah, that looks that looks about right. So I'm gonna select these two, hit the path builder, knock that out. Don't need the join for that, join mode for that one, and voila. Rotate it a little bit. Boom. We have our bird logo. All done with the path builder tool. So now let's color it. I'm going to open up the fill color. And it started me off with this color palette. I like it, but I want to do something more. I don't know, thinking blue. I'm going to go through the color palettes here and see what comes up. I like this. I like this. Let's play around with this one. So I want it to be gradient. I'm gonna turn on the gradient tool, tap on that top one, and let's use the lighter color for the top one, top of the bottom one, and use use a darker color for the bottom one. That looks smooth. Very smooth. Let's get rid of the stroke width, see what this looks like. All right. And let's do the same here. Let's tap on the wing gradient tool. Lighter color for the top. Darker color for the bottom. Remove the stroke. All right. Now, let's get rid of the raster. Let's darken the document using the gray that this color palette provided. And we have our logo. Sweet. That came out perfectly. So that, my friends, is how you can use the Path Builder tool to trace any logo you draw. Thanks for watching. I will catch you next time.